بنبدي بالعمر الجديد واجمل تنافس بيننا اخوان واصحاب ربح حبنا البعض فينا طبع Your Excellency, Ambassador of the United Kingdom, Ian Lindsay. Dr. Sheikha Meila Tebi, Chairperson of the Board of Trustees of Bahrain Bayan School. Dr. Peter Nana, School Director General of Bahrain Bayan School. Ladies and gentlemen, parents, distinguished faculty, honorable guests. Good morning and welcome to this assembly held to honor yet another achievement by the students of Bahrain Bayan School. We here at Bayan pride ourselves with the accomplishments of our students and this year we have more reason to than ever before. Out of 14 finalist countries participating in the Injaz al-Arab regional competition in Kuwait, Bahrain Bayan School, representing the Kingdom of Bahrain, has won the best student company of the year for 2013. This truly is an outstanding achievement, and we are especially honored to be able to share this achievement with our honored guests. Now, without further ado, please, let's welcome Dr. Sheikh Amel Atebi, the chairperson of the Board of Trustees of Bahrain Bayan School, to have her welcoming speech. Good morning. I would like to welcome His, Highness, His Royal Highness, Prince Andrew, Duke of York to the Kingdom of Bahrain and to the Bahrain Bayan School. I also would like to welcome Her Highness, Sheikh Hassa bint Khalifa Al Khalifa, Injaz Bahrain Executive Director, honorable guests, parents, teachers, and students. Welcome everyone. We are gathered here today to honor the Bahrain Bayan School Young Entrepreneurs and to congratulate them on their achievements. Since we first opened our doors in 1982, Bahrain Bayan School has continued to offer students in the Kingdom of Bahrain 
a bilingual education of the highest quality, designated to prepare, designed to prepare students for the challenges of high, higher education while also ensuring to foster a continued appreciation for Arabic culture, tradition, and Islam Islamic values. We are especially proud of the hundreds of our graduates who have gone on to further their education in universities in the United Kingdom since 1995. The tremendous support and contributions by our board of directors the PTA, the school's leadership team, the faculty, staff, and the parents have all been an integral to the success of our school. It's in this spirit of tireless and very often selfless teamwork, which the school was founded on, that has sustained and supported the school's mission of service through to the present day. As a private non-profit institution, we currently have over 1,180 students enrolled from the kindergarten to grade 12. The program provides a comprehensive, challenging, and well-rounded educational experience with an international baccalaureate and a diploma program fully complemented by a series of rich and diverse extracurricular activities desi designed to further enrich the lives of our students. As part of our reaccreditation and efforts to improve our school to the highest international standards, we have made great strides in further developing our curriculum the ubiquity of educational technology on campus and school facilities. Our students are characterized by their warmth, intelligence, and integrity, and these qualities have enabled Bayan school graduates to achieve tremendous success in all walks of life. And we are proud to count among our alumni their accomplishments in Bahrain and throughout the globe, whether it be in the public sector or private enterprises. I would like to thank Injaz and GBIC, as well as Mr. Mahmoud Al Mahmoud, for their support every step of the way, which gave our students the unreserved opportunity to express themselves through their achievements and to demonstrate their truly unique capabilities every, every step of the way. Finally, as a final note, on behalf of the BBS, I would like to express our gratitude to my Trey mentor, Ms. Lida Richardson, for her efforts and hard work, which while behind the scenes, has been integral to the success of this program. Thank you all for being with us. Thank you very much for your insightful speech, Dr. Sheikh Amel Atebi. Our next speaker is the Injaz Bahrain Executive Director herself. Please let's welcome Her Highness Sheikh Hassa bint Khalifa Al Khalifa, Injaz Bahrain Executive Director. Your Royal Highness, Prince Andrew, Duke of York. Your Excellency, the Ambassador of the United Kingdom, Mr. Ian Lindsay, Al Bayan School Chairperson, Sheikh Amayel Atibi, Injaz Bahrain Board of Directors, distinguished guests and students. Good morning. We are really pleased to be meeting with His Royal Highness, Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, today at Al Bayan School and it is our privilege to realize that his interest in entrepreneurship aligns with Injaz Bahrain's prime focus and mission. We are honored to be given the opportunity to participate in the Bahrain British Week that marks 200 years of established relations between our two countries. I am addressing you here not only as the founder of Injaz Bahrain, but as an alumni of Young Enterprise of the United Kingdom, 
another member of the global organization Junior Achievements Worldwide. My first encounter with this nonprofit organization started when I was a student, when I had the opportunity to participate in the company program when I was a student at the Western Bert Girls School in the United Kingdom. My participation in the company program then was an eye-opening experience to the world of business and economics. It was such an inspiring opportunity that influenced my personal life and career significantly. Jointly with my higher education in the United Kingdom, the experience was so inspirational, rewarding, and impactful, it encouraged me to found Injaz Bahrain in 2005 with a group of local business leaders. I assumed this responsibility out of my strong belief that investing in education would be the best option towards attaining development and prosperity for the Bahraini economy. The shift to entrepreneurship and self-employment is important to the country's economic future because startups not only create new jobs, but they also create the majority of innovation. Injaz Bahrain plays a vital role in the contribution towards our economic development, youth development, and education development. This is all achieved through the three pillars of the organization, financial literacy, work readiness, and most importantly, entrepreneurship. The soft skills of these pillars embedded in our programs cover knowledge around business, economics, finance, careers, leadership, ethics, and character. They are presented in interactive and hands-on sequential activities, and yet they are quite academic in nature. The company program that my trade team participated in focuses on teaching entrepreneurial and business skills to young people by nurturing the spirit of creation through adult mentorship the program helps, and helps students learn about self-employment through the creation of an actual company. As they form a company, sell shares, produce a product, and offer services, students learn to appreciate and understand the role of business in the economy. Working with adult mentors who guide their company experience Students also develop an understanding of the economic principles that influence business decisions while gaining an introduction to career opportunities and work readiness skills. My trade team of El Bayan School interacted with the program so dynamically and absorbed the concepts and skills of the program so well, they attained the title of the best company of the year twice. First on the national level, last May 2013, and then on the regional level in Kuwait, last December 2013. It is in their presentation that they will deliver in a few minutes. My trade team will reflect the foundational skills they have learned from Injaz Bahrain's company program. Over the last nine years, Injaz Bahrain, with its innovative and skill-building capabilities, has established a strong hub of partnership, partnership that has attracted a great number of parties, educators, private sector leadership and expertise, individuals, volunteers from various sectors, and entrepreneurs, all share one common mission of inspiring and preparing young Bahrainis to succeed in a global economy. Partnership has become a norm through which we fulfill our mission and reach out to thousands of students every year. On conclusion, we would like to express our sincere appreciation to Your Royal Highness for granting us the opportunity to share with you the true outcome of what we do as a private sector-led organization dedicated to connecting business and education to build a stronger community through programs that focus on entrepreneurship, work readiness, and financial literacy. We would also like to thank El Bayan School for hosting this event, wishing them all the very best. 
Our appreciation is also extended to all the young entrepreneurs who are present with us today and who would share with us their entrepreneurial ventures and voluntary support to Injaz Bahrain. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Highness, for your inspiring speech. We can't express enough how honored we are here at Bayan School to have these budding young entrepreneurs with us. But there's no better way to get to know them than by actually having them share with us their entrepreneurial endeavors. Please allow us to invite Ghaith Hamza and Yusuf Jilani up to the stage from the company Maitre, the winning team of the Injaz Al Arab Regional Competition. Driving can be a boring experience for the youth of today, but with its long distances, its constant, ever-increasing traffic, there's hardly more for a child to do these days besides stare out of his window. Distinguished guests, fellow entrepreneurs, parents, ladies and gentlemen, I, Yusuf Ayaz Jelani, and my colleague, Ghaith Riyad Hamza, are representatives from the Bahraini company, Maitre, the company offering all of you a solution to this problem. The solution takes form in the product Maitre, a product that has, in one short year, sold hundreds of units, gone undertaking various generations of improvement, raised the initial value of, this, uh, of the company's stocks to double it, and most recently, clenched the uh, company the title of Injaz Al Arab's best company of the year. However, in order to achieve these lofty heights, as a company, we needed to take several steps. The first of which was identifying a specific need that we were going to target. And that was the importance of occupy, occupying children during periods of transportation. And from then, the idea of my tray was born, whereby we created a product specifically targeted at these children, a product that is colorful, enjoyable, comfortable, and portable. So I'm sure you're all aching to see what the product actually looks like and how it functions. As the person who lost the coin toss prior to the presentation, I'll be acting the role of the child as my colleague explains. You see, ladies and gentlemen, my tray is not just one product. It's actually three products in one. At first, it's a bag, one that can be carried around easily through the colorful straps. However, when the user takes a seat, he can set the my tray on his lap, open it up, and he gets a tray, or a platform on which he can perform various tasks, from eating to reading and maybe even writing. And any items he wishes to store for later use can be kept in the zippered pocket. 